Welcome to Frickin' Homemade Movies. We're doing Guardians of the Frickin' Galaxy, and here's how we frickin' made it. Okay, cool. Looks... <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> So I started to do the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think it was the second trailer, and then this morning I noticed that the new trailer had dropped from the Super Bowl. It's much better, it has more stuff that's going to lend itself to homemade. Unfortunately I did do a couple of shots already that are in the second trailer that are not in the Super Bowl trailer, but they weren't very big elaborate shots, so uh, I'm just going to have to scrap them. The real quick shot of this gold woman, I think it's Aisha, Aisha, I'm not sure, but she has this really tight helmet on, so I used this toy army helmet that I got at the 99 cent store, and now I'm adding EVA foam details on, and I'm gonna spray paint gold. All right, gold lady, um, her name is Aisha, I think, but we've got her friend Caro, she was in Aliens. I'm back! Ooh. All right, that's it. Yay! <laughs> gold lady is a wrap. <laughs> okay, we've got Star-Lord and Yandu today, and here we've got our friend Lawrence and Johnny. These guys have been in homemade movies like crazy. Actually, they were in Jurassic World, which yeah. I think was our biggest one, so hopefully we'll recreate that magic with this one. So here's your mohawk helmet. Well, looking forward to this, man. Yeah. My giant head. <laughs> this is how the Guardians get ready every day to go out into space. They Look, help each other. Hurry up, we got a battle. We gotta, <laughs> hurry up, we got a battle. Oh, we got Star-Lord action over here. Yeah, Star-Lord. Got a force perspective trick going on here. We've got a little miniature foreground element, which is the spaceship, and then back there, Star Lord and Yandu. Uh, go ahead and act like you're steering. <laughs> All right, I'm making the Star Lord helmet, and I have to do it in pieces because we're going to be doing some stop motion animation because the helmet forms over his face. Of course, I have cardboard, headphones just to build off of, plastic containers, jump rope handle, shot glasses, and man's trash. Another man's Star Lord helmet. Got all my pieces of the helmet here, and we're going to do it in stages. So there's stage one, we'll put the earpieces on. Stage two, we'll put the side pieces on. Lawrence is going to be holding totally still and matching the frame as we go through the shot. We did this once in Terminator Genesis. It has kind of like an 80s, 90s music video look, which is fun. I did find this um, like pillow plush rocket, which is almost to scale. This was only like eight bucks, 10 bucks or something like that. Gonna have to put some baby bib overalls on him. For the life-size baby Groot, I actually found this rocket plush figure at the 99 cent store. Uh, I'm not gonna use it as rocket. I'm gonna cut his head off and use this little tiny planter for Groot's Head. That's not what I wanted. I forgot I actually have these cardboard planters, which might be a little bit easier to work with. I'm using an old t-shirt. Just fold the fabric over the figure and just cut it and glue it on. I have this fake leather material left over from when we made Goro on our homemade Mortal Kombat scene, so I'm gonna use some of that to add some details to the baby Groot. All right, so here we have Star-Lord and Rocket are flying through space. So I have this plush Rocket figure that I found on a C-stand right next to Lawrence, and they're just gonna stand there and pretend to fly, and I'm going to move the camera to create their movement. Yeah, that was it right there putting some G.I. Joes on some fishing string and we're gonna hang them in the foreground of the shot and then Johnny and our rocket is gonna be in the background. There's also um, the rocket that flies through the shot so I'm gonna run some fishing string across the back of the garage and then we're gonna pull a little foam rocket that we made. <laughs> Way up here though. <laughs> Playing Gamora, Bianca. Hey guys. She's back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, you look very I like cute. It. <laughs> the shot, her hair is flowing, and we're never gonna get that with this wig. So we're, we actually tied fishing line to her hair. <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be huge. I'm here with the uh, two-dimensional gun. <laughs> Can you take a picture of me? Of course. 
Okay, Drax has arrived. This is our friend Jim. He's gonna put some face paint on and play Drax. How's it going? We actually have this shirt here that Mark made with the red details already painted on. Yeah, that was it right there. Always fun to go into the backyard. It looks like he's kind of just... He's method. <laughs> totally method acting right now. That was awesome! <laughs> That was awesome! For miniature Drax, I found this WWE. It's WWE now, Mark, did you know that? It's not the World it's... Wildlife Federation. <laughs> so here we have our mini Drax, and he's going to be attacking this big toothy monster looking thing. I have this merman from our homemade He-Man, and he's got a plunger mouth with teeth on it. So what we're gonna do is take the plunger off of here. We're gonna line this with vampire teeth and make the rest of the tentacles and stuff. And then in the background, we just have some Halloween buckets. Got some flashing helmet lights in there. It's like we're making a B, like a monster B movie. <laughs> oh, scary! So we just accidentally did a YouTube collab, apparently, with Five Second Films. This is Kelsey Gunn. Hi, guys! No relation to James Gunn. But maybe. <laughs> James, I'm willing to be adopted. She's gonna be Nebula, so we've got her in a sparkly silver shirt. So far, so yes. good. Yeah, and then we're gonna put her in a ball cap and do some makeup. And, yeah. It's gonna make me gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks great. I mean, homemade. Just gonna go out after this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now she's got the eye patch on and it's been double sided taped to her head, and it's actually working out pretty well. I'm just like, gonna kill you, it's, like it's we're gonna doing be all right. It's like Space Psycho or something. Right. Me, 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 me. Ah! That was good. Get angry. <laughs> For Mantis, we got our friend Dawn, and she's actually back. She was in our homemade Sin City, yep. which was quite a while ago. Yeah. So she's back. We're gonna not paint her, but we're gonna put some <laughs> little antennas on her head. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Movie magic. Yes. <laughs> These are so cute. <laughs> I've got baby Groot here, but he doesn't have a face yet because I'm going to be doing stop motion animation for this shot. This one has some mouth animation going on, so I'm going to be making those mouths out of some construction paper and then just taping them on and replacing them as I do the shot. He is attached to a tripod. He has a wire running through his back that is attached to his head so I can bend his head to animate that. So we're just gonna basically go through each frame and set it up, take a picture, do the next frame, take a picture, and uh, go through the whole shot. It turns out charming, that's the thing. It's not perfect, which is cute. I'm good. <laughs> that works, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. We've got a little group here on some fishing string. <laughs> for Rocket, I'm gonna be doing a couple of different things. One is I've got this little hand puppet. He's gonna be used for the talking stuff. Gotta make him some clothes, cause he's naked right now. He doesn't have a tail, so I got this raccoon skin hat. So here I'm setting up the shot with Rocket blasting some guys up into the air. I'm gonna be using my hand puppet here. And then I've got four G.I. Joe guys back here that are all hooked up to a string so I can pull them. I'm doing all this stuff by myself, so I've got my monitor flipped around so I can see what I'm shooting. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the smoke machine with my foot, and then the guys are all on a fishing string, which I'm gonna pull with my other hand. This one, he's got Baby Groot on his shoulder, so I made a little tiny Baby Groot out of a G.I. Joe and I used a plastic spoon for his head. It's a little comically big, but it works. Welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Okay, so we were in the middle of a shot and all the lights went out and apparently the power's out from the from the rain. So we're, we're not doing anything until we get the power back. It's the way it goes, I guess, sometimes. All right, it's um, Monday. The rain has kind of stopped, but we have power. So Mark's here, and we're gonna start back up with shooting. Quick shot where all of these guys raise up their hands, and rather than rig all of these guys up with fishing string, we're gonna do a jump cut. So we're gonna shoot for a little bit with all of their hands down, and then we're gonna cut, and we're gonna lift all their arms up. So we'll just jump cut from one to the other, and it'll create the illusion that they all lifted up their hands. Getting a little hairy there, Mark. 
here we have Star-Lord's ship being chased by a whole horde. Kind of tricky, but I think I'm gonna try these happy birthday necklaces that I have, and we're gonna attach them to the back of a little toy jet that we have. And my thinking is that it's gonna pull the necklaces up with it, so it's gonna look like um, each one of these beads is like a ship. Cool! Here we have a very small scale of Rocket and Star-Lord, which I made out of a Lego figure and an army figure. And Mark is back here operating those guys, and there's a ship flying in, so we're gonna have a little cameo from a TIE fighter. So here's my little tiny Gamora miniature I made out of a G.I. Joe figure. Here we have Gamora flying off of a cliff. She looks like she's being hit by a ship of some kind, so we've got mini Gamora, and then we've got our smoke machine back here and our 2D ship right there with some lights on it. It's a stingray. It's a stingray. <laughs> this was a tricky one because this plush figure doesn't have much movement in his arms and stuff. I had to rig his arm up to a yardstick, which I have attached to this tripod. I'm hiding the yardstick with this flame made out of construction paper. The tricky thing is that the gun has to spin in his hands. So I have the gun on a coat hanger and then Bianca is hiding behind this coat in the background and she's actually flipping the gun from back there with a wire. Let's go in the house and see what's happening. This is what happens when you make homemade movies at your house. It takes over your house. Oh, here we've got Lawrence and Johnny putting on makeup in the bathroom. What's up? Jim's hanging out, hey. waiting for me to set up this shot. Got Kelsey and Bianca are hanging out. The whole house, the whole house. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> I'm gonna set up for the big group shot and then I think most of you guys will be done. Comic book Johnny's like freaking out right now. <laughs> you guys look awesome. And then I'm gonna have this little thing, which I'm gonna do in the foreground, so it's not actually gonna hit you and then yeah. you just cheat and fly over. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> uh -huh. I had a baby and then I got a highlight so my face hurt great. <laughs> Wanted to introduce you guys to the newest homemade movies crew member, our baby Corvus. <laughs> she's she's ha happy to be here. Hey sweetheart. Johnny's getting ready for his blue man group audition. Exactly. Mm, feeling a little blue today. Oh man, the cup size too big. Yep. Ant-Man has come over to babysit. <laughs> this is Andrew from Ant-Man. Yeah. <laughs> like we're doing some weird like school portrait. Yes. 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 All right. Literally. Welcome to the freaking Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> that is how we made it. Thanks to everyone who came and helped out. This one was a lot of fun. We had a lot of awesome tricks in it and stuff. Make sure to watch our video in the link below as well as the side-by-side -side comparison with the original trailer. We got episodes coming out first Tuesday of every month, so don't forget to subscribe to Cinefix.